Hi guys. This is Diagrotech. Today we are going to download and install PFSense on GNS3. PFSense is very useful for our GNS3 lab activities, we can configure it as a firewall or router, we can even configure it assuming it's our internet service provider for us to add multiple WAN connection. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you. Let's proceed, we have to download first the files, the pfSense AMD64 ISO image and the empty 100G.QCOW2. Open your web browser and go to pfSense.org. You can find all these links on the description below. Go to download. During the time of this recording, the latest version release is 2.5.1. For the architecture, select AMD64. For the installer, select DVD image. For the mirror, you can choose any. Now, click on download. While waiting for it to download go to gns3.com, login or create a new account. You must have to have an account to download the 100g.qcow2 file. Go to documentation. Appliances. In this window, you can see the appliances available. Scroll down and look for pfSense. Click on it. Scroll down. Notice that the latest available version from here is 2.4.5, since we already downloaded the latest version then we only need to download the empty 100g.qcow2 from here. Click on download. Wait for it to download the file. Now let's check the downloaded files. We have to import these two files on GNS3. Launch your GNS3 application and wait for the server's summary to turn green. Click on Browse All Devices. New Template, Install an Appliance from the GNS3 server which is recommended, click Next. Expand the firewalls then look for PFSense. You can see the emulator is Camu and the vendor is Rubicon. Click on Install. Click Next. Click next again. In this window, you can see the latest version available is 2.4.5 and also the empty 100G.QCOW2 had been automatically detected. Since we don't have the option for 2.5.1 then click on create a new version. Version name is 2.5.1. Click OK. It will automatically detect the old version available, click OK. Empty 100G had been detected. Click OK. Now, click on pfSense.iso and click Import. Locate the downloaded file. Click on it then click Open. Wait for it to update the pfSense. Notice that the version is still 2.4.5. Just ignore it for now. If the empty 100G.QCOW2 is missing then click on it then click import. Locate the downloaded file then click open. Make sure the status is ready to install. Click on the version then click next. Click yes to proceed. Take note of the credentials, the username is admin and password is pfSense. Click finish. The application has been installed. You can see the new device PFSense 2.5.1 has been added. Click OK. Now, we have to check the settings, right click on it then choose configure template. We can change the symbol. We will use affinity circle blue firewall. This next process is very important. Go to CD DVD, notice the image is still the old version, we must use the file we downloaded. Go to the downloaded file, extract the pfSense amd.iso. Open the folder, we must use this image to replace the old one. Go back to pfSense settings. Click browse. 
locate the extracted file. Click on it then click open. Wait for it to update the image. You can now see the version is 2.5.1. Go to network, we have 6 adapters by default, you can change it if you want. Once done click OK. Now, we have to configure the PF Sense. Click on File, New Blank Project. Give a project name then click OK. Add a cloud on the topology. For the server, always choose GNS3 VM. Let's now add the PF Sense, also you can add a device for testing purposes. I will use the Windows 10. Open the VMware workstation. Right click on GNS3 VM. Settings. In my case, notice the network 0 which is the first network is currently set to bridge. This means, it will be bridged and will be part of my physical network. Let's have a quick look on my network configuration. You can see my network is 10.1.1.0. So this cloud or this bridge will be part of this network. Which means I can ping and access the device connected to that cloud which will be the PF Sense. If you don't have a bridge network then simply add one, click on add. Choose network adapter then click finish. Click on the new network adapter then click on bridged. Once done click OK. Now let's add a link. Remember that the bridge is the first network adapter, that would be the ETH0. If in your case is the second network adapter then use ETH1. Connect to M0 which is the PF Sense 1 interface. We will use M1 to connect to the internal device. We will now power on the devices. Yes to proceed. To open the PF Sense console, Right click on it then choose console. You can show the interface labels. Notice that we encountered some errors during the startup. If you encounter any issue, just simply turn off then turn on the PF Sense again. This process takes time, please wait for it, I will fast forward the video. We will leave all the settings by default. Hit enter. Enter to install PF Sense. Enter to continue with default key map. Hit enter to proceed. Now, wait for it to finish the process. The installation is now finished. No or hit enter to continue. Hit enter to reboot and complete the installation. Notice that the WAN interface is a part of my physical network which is 10.1.1.3-27. Now, I want to change the LAN IP address. You have the options to choose to. We will choose 2 to set interface IP address, type 2 then hit enter. Since I will change the LAN then I will choose 2. I will configure 10.200.1.254 for this interface. Hit enter. Now, choose the LAN subnet, I will type 24 then hit enter. I don't want to set up stream gateway so simply hit enter. Hit enter again. If you don't want to enable DHCP server then type and then hit enter. We will configure it for this demo. Type Y then hit enter, start address would be 10.200.1.100, hit enter and DHCP address would be 10.200.1.150. Do you want to revert to HTTP as the web configurator? Type Y for us to access it through web. Now, we should be able to ping and access this IP from our host device. Open command prompt. Ping 10.200.1.254. Success. We should be able to access it from the web as well. Open your web browser and enter the IP address. 
success. Remember the credential, username is admin and password is pfsense. Welcome to pfsense. We can skip this wizard by clicking on the pfsense at the top. Accept the copyright and trademark notices. You can now see the interfaces and IP address we have configured from the pfsense console. If you still remember, we have six network adapters available. We have to configure the remaining four interfaces. Go to Interfaces, Assignments, click on Add until you reach the six interfaces. We will configure these five interfaces to be our one connection. This PFSense will act as our ISP. Now, we will edit the names and IP address. Click on the name, enable the interface. We will change the description to 12. IPv4 configuration type to static IPv4. IP address would be 10.200.2.254, since 1.254 is our 11 or currently the LAN. We will change it to 24 subnet. Click on save. The changes must be applied to take effect. Click on apply changes. The change have been applied successfully. You can click the three line icon to go back to the interfaces. You can also go back to the console to check the changes. Hit enter. Notice the name and IP address added. You can edit the rest based on your preferences. I will just fast forward this video. You can see the name and IP address I have configured. Now, we have to configure the firewall rules. Go to firewall, rules. The one is already configured, the LAN or our one one is also configured. We only have to edit the rest. Go to one two, there's no current configuration so we have to add rules, click on add. For the action, choose pass. The protocol is only set to TCP so we have to change it to any. Source would be any and destination would be any. Click on save. This policy means all to all, all policy and ports are allowed, no restrictions and no blocking. You will have to do it for the rest of the interfaces. You just have to change the protocol to any then click save. We can add a text for the list of the one IP addresses we have configured. Let's now go to the Windows 10 device, we have to set the IP address. Since we are connected to the LAN interface then we will give the IP of 10.200.1.200. We are now connected to the network. We should be able to ping those one IP addresses configured. Ping 10.200.1.254, success. Ping 10.200.2.254, success. Ping 10.200.3.254, success. Ping 10.200.4.254, Success. Ping 10.200.5.254. Success. We can now delete the Windows 10 and change it to routers. We can add multiple routers and firewalls since we have 5 1 IP address configured. I strongly recommend this PF Sense if you're onto GNS3. This is very useful, especially when doing lab test for SD1. Failover, SSL VPN, IPsec VPN etc. If you do, if you test this PFSense on GNS3 especially for those beginners, I'm sure you will thank me later. 
That's all for today's demonstration and I hope you liked this video. Feel free to leave your comments and suggestions below. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, thank you and see you in the next video.